Hello, hello, hello. This is Mr. Chabry. We have just evolved our Typhlosion. And um, I want you to look at this thing's moves now. We've switched out Ember with Flamethrower. And we now have Hex on it. Since it is a uh, Ghost-type Pokemon now, it has gained the Goose typing. So what we're going to do is go ahead and fight the, uh, the Electrode. I'm ready to battle. I am ready for this battle. Don't stop moving or Electrode will get you in no time. You know what? I am ready for this battle. I am prepared. I have the Typhlosion with me. Oh, is it in the tree? Do I need to use Sneasler to fight it? Oh, those are all Voltorbs, aren't they? So what does it look like? Well, I, I've never really looked at the electrode yet. Oh, ah, it was upside down. For some reason, I was like, oh, they gave it one eye. All right, so what do I do to avoid this? Is it going to be hard like the Arcanine? Oh my gosh. So you just have to keep moving. I guess. What the heck? My problem is that it's like these Voltorbs are kind of random, it seems. The Voltorbs seem almost random and how they... Whoa, the thing is expanding its electricity. Dylan, quit. Quit it. I'm trying not to die. It's an battle. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, 46. Oh, my gosh. Flamethrower time. All right. Try to make the Volt Torb. So, so I think there is a pattern to the Volt Torbs. of these little orbs now yeah see see the volt torbs are kind of like in a circle okay. Ooh, where are you going buddy hey whoa <gasps> oh no 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 i wish not to die i wish not to die i wish not to die i guess it's using explosion at this point All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Here is my chance. It wants to use thunder so bad. Flying flower. All right, we've already seen that. Um... Oh, that's blue. That's different. It's blue. It's different. It's angrier. Oh. All right. We have to keep our eyes peeled. Oof. Oh, 
Oh, here it goes. It's doing the thing. It's doing the thing. It's doing the thing. How did I get out? Barely. I barely got out. I barely just got out of that. I barely just got out of that. Alright, Typhlosion. Come on, buddy. I need you to do this. Come on, Typhlosion. Alright. Now we've got it. We've got it. I just hit it with the last shot. I just hit it with the last shot right before it attacked me. Whew. While it wasn't as hard as the Arcanine one, that had me on the edge of my seat. Electro just giving me the angry eyes. Look at Typhlosion just boost up and levels. I, I brought Gumi just in case I would need it. I didn't even need need it. Typhlosion was able to one-shot every time. Thank you. The zap plate. Nice. And it just rolls off. Nice. What? Utter calamity. I just defeated your boy. Ready to make those accursed bombs? Yes. Like, you see, Electro looks relieved to me. It's glad it's suffering ended. Oh, come on, Adam. And seriously, that's just your wishful thinking. Nothing more. All right. Right on schedule. I arrive right on schedule. Hi, Ingo. Why'd you bother to come back? I only say, I recall some things after Miss Travery did the honor of traveling with me. Things to do with a world where I believe I'd lived before my memories were lost. Most people there caught Pokemon, lived with them, formed supportive partnerships with them. And then there were Pokemon trainers. The ones we call Pokemon trainers were devoted to their craft. They always looked toward the challenge and had Pokemon battles every chance they got to help themselves and their Pokemon grow. Through battles, trainers forged bonds of understanding with their Pokemon and their opponent. And their po Pokemon, too. Uh, with everything, I suppose. Uh, if Pokemon people work together, we can forge new paths. Uh, we'll be lost to history if we go on believing all Pokemon can be strong. If we go on fearing them instead of understanding them. Interesting. Was your world like Ingo described too? It sure was. Yes, it was. Never thought such a world could exist. Once again, the brilliant Warden Melly has realized something rather clever. It's not just Pokemon that need to be strong. It's me as well. I wonder if Almighty Sinnoh will be pleased once I've achieved exactly that. Adam and share with me the wisdom of Almighty Sinnoh has passed down amongst our clan. All right, open your ears, shut that big mouth, listen well, my friend. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger. All right, let's go ahead and um, let's see. Bravo, excellent, Ingo says. Uh, please uh, run towards the destination at a higher state. Higher state is clear, Mr. Chabry. The next lord. All right, let's go back to Jubilai Village. And report to uh, Commander Commodo. So yeah, this. So yeah, this little area is pretty cool. Um, let's see if there's any goodies. Um, but we can look at the map. Hopefully, someone gets my uh, my items. But yeah, you can see the stone portal, and up here is uh, the. Uh, Look how close I am. I'm sure my next mission probably involves us going there. I wonder if my next mission involves going up there. Wow. Um, first, I want to go down here. Go down here. I'm try to throw a uh, ball at that graveler. Oh, I actually hit it. Okay. I'll just chill out back here just in case she does you catch. Oh, and it caught. Okay. Alright, 
we'll go down here. Oh, just ignore this guy. Nice to meet you. Not really. I just want to live. Yeah, he was right when he said there's tons of rock and ground types. I want to see that thing try to roll at me. I want to see Golem in action. Look at it. That's actually cool. That's actually cool. I just want to see it rolling. Look at Typhlosion. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, that was a nice hit. I'm like so sure I caught it. I'm just going to walk. I'll catch that my choke. I'm just going to zip back. Yeah, let's go back to the mountain camp and we'll report our findings and unlock the next. Yeah, we've caught six Pokemon. That's what they look like. That's what I, I guess my, oh, I got a lot of money too. Uh, it seems you got some new observations. Yeah, look at that. Nice. What is Quilava's favorite? Mm, Quilava's got a nice bit of food. Blended jaw. Back to Komodo. And I do believe I'd probably need to um, upgrade my stars maybe before the next area. Because that's what it seems to be. Um, each area you have to have a, the next star. I'm wondering if that is the case here. All right, what's this person saying? Uh, there you are, the one that's been I've been talking that's been talking about the Survey Corps that's been exploring the Crimson Mireland. My sister Wanda is in the Security War. She went to the Mireland. She never came back. Anything I can go off of? What does she smell like? That's weird. I picked it up, or did the bear pick it up? Okay. I ride on Ursaluna to find Wanda. Okay. It's cool that there's so many little side missions like that. And yeah, now we'll talk to um, Commander Commodo up here. Hmm. Or Melly believes that Frenzied were somehow trouset by Sinnoh. We cannot know if that's the case whether or not, but it does beg the question. Why ever would this almighty Sinnoh drive nobles to Frenzy? Ah, is it angered by something? Does it seem want to put a wedge between people and Pokemon? Uh, what's with the space-time rift anyway? What caused it to open? Hmm, we must be tired. Go on then, to the Wallflower, get you some rest. I'm instructing Benny to prepare his finest potato mochi for me. Is that that's the only thing he's fixed this whole time? It's the only thing he's fixed. Dinner's on Commodo. Eat your fill. It's coming out of his pocket. Nice. Quite a change from the Commander's usual preaching about tighten our belts until things grow more stable. Uh, I've heard talk that our progress serving the Pokemon made gathering ingredients less onerous, less dangerous. So basically we're seeing the the fruits of our labors. Uh, people are getting more comfortable with Pokemon. They're able to get these supplies. The Commander's actually changed his tune. He's more... Open to, you know, people coming in. It's not like a struggle anymore. The next day. All right. Standing outside the cabin. Stretching. Isn't it nice to getting up early? Um, what are these guys doing? Adamant and Irida. 
Oh, I got same invitation. I had to wake up earlier than usual, run all the way here for it. Come on, no need to grouse over such nice little early wake up. He's he's a morning person. Ira does not. All right, let's go follow Diamond and Pearl Clan to Galaxy Hall. Oh, I'm already here. Okay. <clears throat> So what's the mission? You've quelled Frenzy of Four Nobles. It wasn't easy. That Arcanine, I'm telling you. Um, the final noble. Uh, you who have dreamed uh, some stranger who would tumble out of the sky to our salvation. Life never does stop surprising you. Uh, the only lord left to be quelled is Avalug, which lives in the Alabuster Icelands. Is the largest no of the nobles, according to what Irida told me. Yeah. Mission is quell Avalug, the final lord. Might trigger some change in the spi space time rift as well. Okay. Avalug may be Pearl Clan's noble, but my clan and galaxy team will step up to resolve this too for the sake of a brighter future. Let us meet at the cold reaches of Alibert, Al 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 Alabaster Iceland. Okay. So yeah, I'm still a stranger to these people, but should be fine in this. Yeah! Oh, Silene, what's, what's happening? It's a wormful! Abra, t teleport this wormful outside at once! It's a little wormful! Silene's terrified of a wormful. Him. Show me you're equal to five stars. Okay, so we do have some stuff we have to do before we do that. Some stuff I'll probably end up doing off screen. Um, I can talk and activate some of these missions at least. Yeah, so... Yeah, so basically what our thing here is we can get different missions, and I think that's going to help us out. Ooh, a strange ponyta. Might do that one next, because I've got a ponyta. What could, what could be special about this ponyta? Alright, so we've got all those activated. And we'll see what's going on with this ponyta. That will be the mission that we accomplished today. We gotta go over here for the ponyta. Okay. Let's fell on top of the bridge. <coughs> okay, bridge person Yoda. Here's the problem: ponyta likes, uh, like no one's ever seen his is in the horseshoe plains. It's different than other ponyta. It's scary to be honest. Well, 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 catch the strange pony taw. Is it a shiny? Is that was is this was supposed to be? It, it can't be shiny, right? Because I could just show him my pony taw, and he would be like, "Oh, that's nice." Gotta go catch this pony taw. And the Fieldland camp is the closest to Horseshoe Plains. Yeah, so that's the good thing about having this Pokemon. We can just run so quickly. That's, that's an angry Wurmple.
Oh! Oh! Wurmple's angry! Okay. Bye, Wurmple. I thought it'd be cool to catch an ang uh, like a big Wurmple, but it, 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 it just wants to destroy me. Where... Horseshoe Plains. Where is this Ponyta? Is it a shiny? Is this a shiny? It is! I've already got a shiny. But I get to catch another shiny. Oh, wait, what's the... Well, if, if, if that's the point, I could have just showed him my Ponyta. So, the interesting thing... It seems that... <clears throat> I I found that shiny pony taught and I thought it was so rare. I got so excited, but it seems like it's actually just a side mission. I just happened to catch the thing from the side mission before I was Don't you run away from me, buddy? Okay, we'll catch it, we'll catch it. If I hit it at all, I'm going to kill it. Um, I I thought my ponyta was special. I really did. I just happened to do the. Uh, Well, wait a second. We can evolve our Ponyta now. I'm going to go ahead and do it, so that way our Ponyta is special. You see, it's a Rapidash. It, 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 it's like, I thought this was a special Ponyta, but it's like just a simple mission. It's like a simple mission. I saw that thing. I got so excited. But it's just a side mission. That's seriously what it is, just a side mission. Um, I'll go ahead and talk to you. And we'll warp back. And then finish our mission. Barely any. Okay. We'll return to the village. Uh, we'll talk to Pony Dude. Show them the shiny pony. I've got a shiny Rapidash now. Now, it, now it's more special. Look at that. Look at this thing. Yeah, don't try to. You tried to headbutt me. I just said you were special, Rapidash. I thought you were more special. This is obviously what I thought. But obviously, you're just a side mission. You're just a reward. For a side mission. Just an award for a side mission. Alright, you. So, a different colored pony tall. It's crazy. Yeah, so, uh... Did that mission. Thank you. But it seems like that was really all there was to that. It just proved to me that this Ponyta that I thought was so special was just a side mission reward. Alright. Well, someday I will find a rare shiny. One that's not just a simple side mission reward. Anyway, if you like this, thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you in the next Pokemon video.